I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. Dom says in this post, I have just relished ten to the episode from the March 19th. After his brief warning to David, in the bowl, that Jim might be looking to cause problems. Justin rings someone called Asif and says that he has purposely left Damara's name out if it. He also says that he should have volunteered at the shop earlier because, it's surprising what you learn in a little shop. Devious man. So glad he has accidentally volunteered to help with the Eurovision celebrations instead of the coronation. Maria says. Yes, he really is a snake. Patricia says. Glad to hear him squirming in the chat with Harrison and Paul. Mark says. Asif is the person involved in Grey Gables. Marilyn says to Mark. No that's Ardile. Don says to Mark. As Marilyn says that's Ardile. Asif is the coordinator or something for Damara I think, which is why he said he kept that name out of the negotiation. He might be their finance man. Ollie says to Don. Justin is using consultants to do the planning permission applications, to hide Damara's name. Asif, one presumes, is the manager of the team at the consultants firm that Justin is using. Someone talked about consultants behind the PP, was it Jim, or David? Sheila says to Mark. Asif is the wealthy horse owner. Don says to Sheila. Oh yes, that's right. You've worried me now. Maybe it isn't Justin who's invested in the stables. Maybe he's just fronted some deal by Asif. There are certainly some dirty deals afoot wherever Justin is involved. Judith says to Mark. All right. I'd forgotten all about him. Heather says to Mark. I thought that, but it isn't apparently. Sheila says. Asif had a horse stabled at Shula's but was dissatisfied. Vet? Pauline says to Mark. I think it's a deal involved at Grey Gables. Sue says to Mark. A deal. Patricia says. Waiting for the carnage when Jim finds out why Justin volunteered at the shop. Don says to Patricia. Yes me too. Catherine says to Patricia. I have missed too much. Why has he volunteered at the shop? Jillian says. On the subject of names, what was the name of the man who inveigled money out of Christine? He was a business contact of Matt Tiger Crawford. Don says to Jillian. I can't remember. Callisto says to Jillian. Wasn't it Matt himself who pretended he had invested her savings? Jillian says. There was definitely someone else and he might have had a name beginning with A. Jillian says. Christine went to a party and was lured into something. Julie says. Do you think Lillian knows? I doubt it. Dom says to Julie. I bet she doesn't. Julie says. Fireworks on the way. Callisto says. Susan will give Justin a battering too, hope she hurls some invective his way. Judith says. A thoroughly unpleasant man. Always has been. Stephen says. It's a pity because Simon Williams is a very classy actor. Excellent in upstairs downstairs. Don says to Stephen. Yes but he wasn't very nice to Hazel. Stephen says to Don. Very true. Better with Sarah. Ollie says to Don. Just for a moment, 
I read that and thought someone had got one over on Hazel Woolley and thought hooray. But I don't think that was what you meant. Stephen says to Ollie. No we were referring to Simon Williams in Upstairs Downstairs. Early, 70s. Thank you so much for listening to this reaction on the Archers episodes. I'm a wash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when they baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him for now.